Hey there, it's Stephanie from Janku, and today I'm going to show you how to manipulate different shapes by combining them using different tools in the path menu. So I'm going to start out by creating a rectangle and then I'm going to create a circle. I'm going to make about eight copies of this so that we can see the different ways you can manipulate these different shapes. Okay, I think that's enough. Alright, so we're going to start off with the first rectangle and circle. I'm going to go to that path menu, and the first one we're going to work with is Union, which takes the two shapes, removes any of the nodes between the shapes, and just combines them as one object. Before we do that, we have to select the two shapes. So I'm going to select the rectangle, and the circle. And with this tool, you do not have to worry about which one you select first or which shape is on the bottom and which shape's on the top. When I create this rectangle and then I create this rectangle, this rectangle is under this one. They order it by how you, when you create the shapes. So I'm just gonna delete that. You can change orders. I can do that in another video. I won't be covering it in this one. You can actually check it out in my layers video in the Janku YouTube. So let's get back to the rectangle and the circle. I'm going to select both of them. I'm going to go to the path menu and I'm going to select union. What you notice is they've removed the nodes between the rectangle and the circle. They've joined it. And if you select the node tool, you can just see how they've outlined that. And you can go and edit that. You can fill the the shape in. We're going to do the second one. I'm going to select both shapes. I'm going to go back up to the path and we're going to do difference. So in this example it does matter where your shape is in the layer. For this tool the lowest the lowest shape in the layer which happens to be the rectangle that is the object that's going to have the other object cut out of it. So in other words, if you think of this rectangle as a piece of cake and this circle as a circular knife, like this whole thing is a blade, and we're pushing down on the circle, it should cut out a chunk of this rectangle. So this piece will be gone. And what will remain are these nodes that make this line. So let's just go and test that. We're going to go to path and we're going to select difference. And you can see it looks like somebody took a bite out of the cake. All right, next one. We're going to select the rectangle and the circle. We're going to go to path and we're going to do intersection. So this one, what it's going to do is it's going to say, where do the two shapes intersect? And let's only keep that in the nodes that that intersect with it. Just like a Venn diagram, you're only going to keep that middle part where the two objects intersect. So we can go back to intersection, select that, and you'll notice you get exactly the middle of the rectangle and the circle. All right, so the next one we're going to do is the rectangle, and I'm going to go to division. Going to select division, you notice that it takes the top object and it cuts anything that's not intersecting with the rectangle. Let's go to the next one. We're going to go to path, and we're going to say cut path. And what that does, it seems as though nothing's happened except that the circle went away. But what it really did is it used the circle as a guide to cut the, the rectangle. And you'll notice that when you select it, and you'll see these are different segments. So it's cut away this part where there was a circle overlapping. So we're going to move ahead. If you select combine, all it does is it combines the two different objects. You can also break them apart if you want them back to the original state. So that concludes my video, my Inkscape video for um, manipulating objects. Um, I will provide a follow-up on exclusion for some reason 
or actually it was division that I was having little issues with. So I can provide follow-up if anybody wants to comment below and they're having issues. Thank you for watching. Tune in every Wednesday for a new Inkscape video.